Well, there really are no options beyond implants, and there are two implants that are available. There's uh, the one product, which is solid silicone. That's not FDA approved in the United States. Uh, it is CE marked. Uh, the saline filled, which is uh, going under the name Terosa, uh, is FDA approved. And so in the United States, that represents the only testicular prosthesis that currently is FDA approved. The saline filled uh, implant is filled with a saline solution and it's filled with an amount to try and make the consistency of the implant as close as possible to the consistency of a testicle. The steps uh, can depend on what the situation is. Uh, certainly there are individuals that have uh, poor development of the scrotum and so then it's a bit more challenging to get a good implant because the prosthesis needs to be in a dependent position in the scrotum. And if the scrotum is atrophied some, then that's, uh, that's difficult. And certainly many of the enthusiasts for simultaneous orchiectomy and implant uh, do so because you don't lose that space. Uh, but uh, if you, the general steps are to ensure that you have a space in the scrotum so you can get a good dependent implant. Second is to make sure that the device will stay dependent and uh, some of that's done with sutures and some of that's done with uh, manipulations of uh, what we refer to as the canal of nook. Uh, and then of course you need an implant site and I think most people now prefer to have the incision uh, somewhat distant uh, to where the implant eventually ends up residing. Well, there are uh, essentially three surgical approaches. One is a standard inguinal incision. Uh, second would be a low inguinal incision. And the uh, third could be a scrotal incision. I think most people now agree that the either low inguinal or inguinal incision is a bit better because it places the incision away from the actual site of the prosthesis. The implant certainly can be placed at the same time as the orchiectomy in certain situations, but the fact of the matter is, is that many orchiectomies are performed when there's not an implant to put in or there are questions uh, raised by why the orchiectomy was done. For example, if an orchiectomy is done for an infection, then no, an implant wouldn't be placed. Uh, second, if an orchiectomy is done with a consideration of cancer, certainly cancer and its treatment takes precedence over placing the uh, implant. But there's certainly nothing wrong under certain circumstances with placing the implant at the same time as the orchiectomy.